This is Don Smith with NewsVideo.com. I was challenged recently to read time video to audio, and I was given a list of hits in time codes. A list of time codes for the audio hits, and a list of time codes for the corresponding video hits, and I had to make a match. I couldn't simply put spaces between the sentences and the audio that would introduce dead air. And I couldn't just chop the video to make it shorter because that would make it choppy. It would lose some of the effects in the video. I had to uh, retime that video in a smooth way. And I thought of a way of doing it using the new speed tools in the latest version of Final Cut Pro. Uh, here's a little piece of audio and video. At the moment they're matched, but uh, let's consider it that they are not. And uh, so the uh, producer gave me a list of time codes for the audio. Now the audio will not change, so I'm going to put markers here in the scrubber bar. Let's say the first the audio hit hit here, and then the one hit here, one hit here, one hit here, one hit here. Those are the uh, audio cues and they will not change. I'm not going to change the audio. What I want to do is change the video. So let's highlight the video now and uh, I'll do it like this. So let's highlight the video and put the corresponding video cues. Now here's the first audio cue and the corresponding video needs to hit here but it happens to hit say here. And here's the one for this uh, audio cue. And the corresponding video is actually early on this one. Uh, let's say it's early on this one, it's late on this one, it's early on this one. Now, here's our first set of cues. Here's the video, here's the audio. And I need to line them up. And I need to line these up as well. So what I did was go into the mode where you set the speed tools. Now you can click on it down here like this. I like to use the keyboard shortcut of Option T. And here are the uh, ticks indicating video frames. Now I, what I'm going to do first is put um, a keyframe at every video uh, cue. So here's the first one and I'll put a keyframe there. And one there. One there. One there. And one there. Now well, here's our first uh, matching pair. This goes to here but they happen of course not at the same time. But Watch this little piece of magic. Now that I've set the keyframe my uh, cursor turns into a crosshair and I simply align it with the audio cue that's up here in the scrubber bar. Same way for this one. Let's align that. We'll take this one and align that. We'll take this one and align it. We'll take this one and align it. Now the video will smoothly change in speed so that cue points in the video will now match cue points in the audio. And that's a tip from me, Don Smith, at newsvideo.com.